It was a case of Rory, Rory, hallelujah this weekend for Northern Ireland's Rory McIlroy. His campaign has faltered badly so far in 2010, but the 20-year-old cast aside that malaise in astonishing style on Sunday, setting a new course record of 62 as he took victory at the Quail Hollow Championship by four strokes over Phil Mickelson. McElroy had missed the cuts at both of his last two tournaments, and after middling opening rounds of 72 and 73 here, nobody could have expected the Ulsterman to win his first US tournament this weekend. But McElroy looked like a different player on Saturday, posting a score of 6 under to drag himself back into contention. On Sunday, he blew the rest of the field away, carding a flawless 10 under par that included 8 birdies and an eagle on the 15th, and finishing 15 under in total. Mickelson ended in second place, 11 under in total, after carding six birdies and two bogeys over the final round. McElroy clinched victory on the 18th with a 43 foot put that was the work of a player brimming with confidence, almost unrecognisable from the troubled youth who crashed out of the Masters in dispiriting circumstances less than a month ago. The win at the Quail Hollow course, thought of as one of the toughest on the PGA Tour, is McElroy's first on US soil and only his second victory in his entire career. But such a barnstorming performance suggests the lad from Hollywood is the real deal. McElroy's victory caps a riveting week in golf around the globe, with Japanese teenage wonder Ryo Ishikawa taking his seventh win on the Japanese tour, with a closing round of 58, the lowest ever score recorded on any major tour. Meanwhile, Tiger Woods put in one of the worst performances of his life earlier this week at Quail Hollow, missing the cuts for just the sixth time in his career. Woods shot 79 on Friday, including a 7 over 43 on the back nine, that included double bogeys and even missed putts from two feet out. While the 34 year old will look to bounce back at this week's Players' Championship, Woods could lose his standing as number one in the world should he fail to finish within the top five. Phil Mickelson would also need to win in order to topple Woods from the top spot, a feat that looks eminently within his grasp, assuming he doesn't come up against the newly emboldened McElroy, of course.